my Classera series. Today we want to look at Ads Manager. The first item we have here is Premium Ads. And uh, on the home page, these Premium Ads appear on the home page if you select it to appear at the home page. It also appears at other pages such as Category Page, Search Page, etc. You can see here this place says premium advertisement and this is a write-up that is all you see here and this is a write-up so here is a premium advertisement which is tagged featured this one says a premium ad slider on and off if you want to exclude the premium ad slider from all pages other than the home page then turn this option off. If I don't want to show the premium ad on other pages except the home page, I will turn it off. So when I turn it off like this, that means it's going to still show on the home page like this, but it's going to be off on all other pages. Okay, let's talk about the feature tags. If you want to remove feature tags from premium slider then turn off this option so the option is turned on and that's why we have this featured showing here if you turn it off and save changes then go to the home page and reload you can see the featured tags are gone So, but I would like to have them on. Featured category on and off. If you want to display the featured category, you turn it on. But if you don't want to display it, you turn it off. Then featured category. This is where you choose the ad category you wish to appear in the featured category slider. It says. Here you can choose ads categories which will be shown in the premium slider section. Leave empty to include all categories. If you don't want a particular ad from a particular category to show in the premium slider, you don't include such category here. But if you leave it empty, this uh, premium slider is going to show as from all categories. Now, how many ads in premium ad slider? Now, from this place down to this place, they work hand in hand in the sense that the setting starts from here. This featured category on and off, right now it is set to off. But if you come here, you will see two ads. And these two ads is being controlled by these two here. If I make it four and hit save changes, then go over and reload, you're going to see four ads. Okay. So now, if I decide to turn this on, everything changes. But the this doesn't change. This doesn't change but these two we have to work together so let's turn it on and save changes then go and reload now what do you see here it's only allowed ads from uncategorized category and that's because we said display ads from uncategorized category we can add another category such as job and hit save changes then let's go back and reload and we have jobs jobs uncategorized jobs so whichever category we choose here is what is going to be displayed on this section if it's more than four for example if i make it six and hit save changes and reload 
it's gonna slide to show the six ads that we set so how many images for premium ads three that means while uploading your ads you have options to upload just three images per ad then we have featured ads expiring do you want the featured ads to expire if yes you turn it on and after a specified number of days the featured ad is going to expire so that is all about this section let's move on to the regular ad and so this is for regular ads and of course regular ads are those free ads you post on the site so it's good to turn them on so that you will have free ads posted by subscribers to your website and here it says regular ad expiring the free ads how long do you want them to last we have from one day different options up to one year and lifetime lifetime means it's not going to expire but in case you choose a duration when the ads expire what do you want to happen to the ads do you want to trash them or you want it as expired here it says if you select trash then a user's ad will be moved to trash and the user will not be able to restore the ad that means the ad is destroyed deleted but if you choose to select expired then the user can restore their ad anytime so this expired is the best option so that the subscriber will be able to repost and reuse the ad how many images for regular ads you specify the number of images you want in your regular ads you can make it five then regular ads post limit do you want to regulate how many ads a user can post if no you leave it off but if yes you turn it on then put how many ads you want the user to be able to post for example if you want a user to be able to post 10 ads on one email address on one account you turn this on put 10 and you say save changes so here it says if you want to set limit for free ad posting then you must turn on this option if you turn it off then there's no limit but as a fresher you can turn it off then later you can now turn it on when you might have had a lot of ads on your website then here it says enter a value for the regular ads how many free ads do you allow regular users to be able to post so here if you want a regular user to post only 10 ads you put the 10 here and you say save changes and um, the last one here which is the bump ads so when i bump my ads i'm going to push it to the front page at the top where site visitors are going to see the ad somewhere on the home page at the top of the page so for you to set a, uh, the bump ad you need to create a product then set a price then get the product id place here and click on save so let's see how to do that let's create a new product from woocommerce this is woocommerce so i'm going to add a new product and i'm going to call it bump ad or just bump then i don't want the product to be shown on uh, anywhere on the site i'm going to hide it so what i'll do is is to click on edit that is catalog visibility and i'm going to hide this bump so here i'm going to choose hidden then how much do i charge my site visitors if i want to bump their ad i'm going to say hundred dollars and that is all so i'm going to publish so i've uh, published the product successfully so i'm going to go to all products and copy the id so here is the id 
I'm going to copy the ID and take it to this place and paste. Then I'll say save changes. So what's going to happen is that whenever a site user needs to bump an ad, the site user will have to pay a hundred dollar for the ad to be displayed on the front page. And that is all about the ads manager.